Hi, I'm Kurt with El Dorado Fine Cigars in Rockwall, Texas. And I'm David. I'm a Texan, and I love cigars. Enjoy the show. There's just no place like home. Unless, of course, it's a good cigar lounge. And if you're lucky, every once in a while, the two will be one and the same. El Dorado Fine Cigars in Rockwall, Texas, first opened its doors for business in September of 2020. But the stories these walls could tell go back well over a century. That's because El Dorado Fine Cigars operates out of a historic house built in 1903, a year during which the U.S. president was Teddy Roosevelt. The spacious humidor of El Dorado carries a diverse offering of both mainstream and boutique cigar brands, all well-respected. And no matter your cigar preference, El Dorado Fine Cigars in Rockwall has something every guest will enjoy. The gentleman who provides the welcoming environment of El Dorado Fine Cigars is a man by the name of Kurt Nauman. Once I heard about this unique shop inside a historic turn-of-the-century home, I just had to check out El Dorado Fine Cigars in Rockwall for myself. Kurt graciously invited me out for a tour, a conversation, and, oh, of course, to smoke cigars. Hey! What's going on, Man, Darren? Not much. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you Good to be here. Good to be back. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. I've been looking forward to this shoot. Me too. I mean, you've got a, a, a gorgeous place. I mean, just walking into the to the, the front porch area, I, it's just, uh, how old Thank is you. this house? House was built in 1903. 1903. Uh, really old house. Almost Didn't you have a, 20 years old. There was a photo. Oh, yeah, there, here it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, the house back in the day, 1903. That, That's 1903. what it said back then. Yeah. Oh, very cool. I love it. I mean, it's got the, just that old, I love wooden floors. Love yeah, the these are actually floor. original from 1903. Yeah, you can and so is the fireplace. That is the original fireplace. I yeah. mean, look at the, I mean, you could just, it's so interesting how things are so different back in the days, you know? No doubt. Okay, we got a fireplace, but you look at the fireplaces we have today and they're just humongous, but it's just, it, it served its purpose. Yeah. So that, I love it how you've left that in here. Uh, the high ceilings, I always love old buildings where they've got these 10 foot ceilings. That helps with the smoke. Right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, so uh, so we're in your lobby. This is where somebody's gonna see you when they first walk in. And I'm looking around a little bit. You've got- A little bit of everything. Boveda, you got some pipes. Okay, cool. Yeah, we do a little, a little pipe too, pipe tobacco. But yeah, we keep most of our cigarillos out here and our accessories. Um, Look and at that, is that a number? It is a number. Ah. And somebody gave me this little number ah, as a gift. Yeah, what what number would be? <laughs> <laughs> so you got all your lighters and cutters and and uh, shirts, hats. Yeah. Got all the, all the swag to go with the shop. Yeah. All right, and then, and then uh, a little bit of pipes over here off to the side. That's Very right. Cool. Very cool. All right. Would you like me to show you around? I would. Yeah, so we're heading back this way. If you remember, this is our members lounge. Okay. Now, so uh, it's a nice little den. So this is the member, you call this the member's lounge, is, so is this restricted? It is not restricted. We just call it the member's lounge. Okay. Anybody is welcome to, to sit in here. Okay. Um, got a couple more TVs in here. All right. We're always playing sports, that sort of thing. Nice little cozy den. We have 146, 146. locker members, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we, uh, we actually sold out uh, in five months once we opened up. And now renewals are coming in, so Very now a nice. few have opened up, people are moving away. and. Um, number of reasons, but yeah. So I didn't want to, you know, have too many uh, members or too many locker members to right. kind of dilute the exclusiveness of this right, store. Right, right, right. So, uh, but I think we're at the sweet spot right. for cool. the store. It sounds like it. I mean, uh, would you say 140? 146. 146. Yeah. Well, very cool. So now we're in... This is our kitchen. This kitchen. is our member's kitchen. Oh, okay. It's BYOB. It, okay. Yeah. There you, and so this is a great area for when you're, you've got events going on? Oh, yeah. So right. did you have did you have an event uh, here recently with your one year anniversary? We did. We had eight vendors here. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, it was great. We had it outside, L shape. Uh, we we brought in food. We had live music. It was a total blast. Oh man! So you got your restrooms off to the side here, yep. and uh, yeah, the high ceilings, the wood, everything. I, I love the, I love the look. Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you. 
very cool. So kitchen, members room, yeah. members lounge, and then what, what are we looking this at? This is our main lounge. Main, main so, lounge. Okay. Yeah, we have 20 seats in here, uh, oh, six nice. TVs. Again, like I said, we're generally just playing sports on, on the TVs. Right. We got some education on the cigar industry up there. Right. Um, rolling cigars, yeah, I, tobacco. I, yeah, You've seen I see a lot before. of cigar shops. Yeah, I think with it's that. really cool. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, you got your McAuliffe. Uh, I sure did. Uh, authorized dealer uh, we shield up there. Yeah. Yeah. Great cigars. PDRs, love PDRs. Kristoff. Yeah. You carry it. It sounds like, you know, you, you've got. Viva La Vida, I had that the first time the other day. Yeah, that's a fantastic oh, cigar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Rob Jones introduced that to me when we were up in Abilene the first time and been meaning to smoke it, finally smoked it the other day, and yeah, great cigar. Well, so you yeah, have to have another one today. Oh, <laughs> maybe. May so you got 20 seats in here. How many were you figure in the member's lounge? Uh, I, think, I guess 10. 10. Then you got the kitchen. You got a little table right there in the kitchen. Yeah. And then we're going to get to these great porches that yeah, you've got absolutely. in the back. You want to go check that out now? Yeah, let's because it's a gorgeous day for it. Yeah, right. so here's our big patio. Yeah, yeah. I love this. Oh, man, that's one thing about houses in this era. The porches Yeah. was just, they were huge. I, I don't know, is, do you think this was like, a, I don't know, back in the days, this major gathering place for them was outside because they sure. didn't have air conditioning. Right. And so you want to come out here and catch a breeze. Yeah, absolutely. Spent a lot of time outside. And of course, we got our backyard with uh, eight picnic benches. We got some chairs around the fire pit, uh, which I probably should have that thing lit up, but. You don't see a whole lot of shops that um, have the outdoor area as well as accommodating somebody inside if yeah. the weather's not great. You got a day like today, people are gonna wanna sit outside and like like these great, you got uh, it. this gr group here is doing. Um, it's good times out here. It, yeah, you can you can have uh, more than enough things to do with this kind of space inside and out. So I, I love it, I love it. Now sometimes, I admit, I get a little awestruck by the sheer perfection of a well-designed cigar lounge that I experience in a momentary lapse in my assessment of priorities. This was one of those times. So, um, what are we missing? Fortunately, Kurt was astute to quickly get me back on track. Uh, the humidor. I don't, yeah. <laughs> a cigar? <laughs> a cigar and a humidor, yeah, yeah, I've gotta see what you've got in the humidor. Uh, right here at the... Right in here. Oh, nice, I like it. Remember that diverse offering of mainstream and boutique cigars I mentioned earlier? Well, whether your stick of choice is a Padron or maybe something from Crown Heads, like any good host, Kurt has made sure to carry an offering for any house guest that might stop by. Yeah, we, uh, we do a lot of boutique stuff, uh, really? as we've talked about in, in the past, but uh, we do, obviously, like most cigar stores, we carry most of the big brand mainstream stuff, right. which I think is really, really important because they're great cigars and people love them. Um, but our strategy is to really have a great selection, and, and what we do is we try to bring in some world-class boutique blends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got McAuliffe and, and Rojas. Uh, Osak? Uh, out of those. <laughs> out of them, out of them. That's a good. That's a good thing. Yeah. You've got uh, Warfighter. Warfighter. We had a Warfighter event last Wednesday. It was fantastic. We did a kind of a collaboration with Cigars for Warriors that night. Kind okay. of paired really well um, yeah. for that event. Love a lot we, of donations. We love Cigars for Warriors. Storm Bowen uh, had him on the show here recently, and he was out at our event that we had uh, the charity event and and he's a great guy with their he organization. Is. I mean, the amount of cigars that they send to the troops. It's amazing. And uh, they do a great job. So you guys, are you guys a- um, We're a donation site. Donation Both center. stores, one in McKinney and also here. Okay. I always like to know um, if a shop has house sticks. I do. Um, and we're just about out, as you can see. Okay. They're very, very popular. Yeah. Um, Noel actually so blends this specifically for our store. Okay. It's our blend. That's your blend. So, yep. So we Do you have, call it anything? No, just the house just cigar. Just the house cigar. <laughs> Good enough. Yeah. All we, right. We have, a, we have a Peruvian Connecticut, we got a Habano, we have a Maduro. Peruvian Connecticut. Okay, yeah. that sounds interesting. Yeah. What do you see moving the most in your shop? Uh, it probably changes. With, with time. Yeah. But what do you see most of your, do you have a certain 
brand or do you have a certain size that your, your clientele ask you for? I'll tell you what's become really, really popular in this store is Lancero. People right. are, at least here, it's not so much that in McKinney, but mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of guys that are really kind of gravitating towards the smaller ring gauges. Mm. Um, you know, Rojas, that's his strategy, really believes in the smaller ring gauge, right. really focuses on the wrapper, right. uh, as you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So this, you know, then you've got this size here in a, in yeah. a Lonsdale. Yeah, kind of Lonsdale, yeah. 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 It, you know, it's, I call it a you know, short Lancero. It might as well be. It might as well be, <laughs> but you know, that's that's one of the cruxes that I haven't seen yeah. in that size. I'm always, I'm excited. What, what, what's your, um, what's your favorite size that you go to? Um, you change I, it up? I have to tell you, I smoke a lot of Robustos because okay. a lot of times I don't have a lot of time to sit down and smoke. Right. Um, but if I do have time, I typically go with the Toro. Okay, yeah. yeah. 50, just really 50, give, 52 give that time time yeah. to, to sit and relax. Yeah, but I do yeah. enjoy a good Lancero from time to time as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't, I've got a drawer dedicated to Lanceros, and then I look at it and I go, no, I'll save them, <laughs> I'll go smoke something else. Yeah. But yeah, I, I do, you know, a good Toro, that's a, I'd say a Robusto Extra maybe. What do you think? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty large <laughs> Robusto. It's not yeah. quite a Toro. It's not quite a Toro, yeah. it's, it's not quite a Robusto. Yeah. So, but this is a fantastic stick. Well, fantastic. I mean, Pichardo, that was another great uh, of his creation. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I always like seeing humidors like you're saying that have a great balance between your mainstream cigars and boutique. Because I think the boutiques are catching on more and more. And I then think again, so. Lancero, it works for us. Lanceros yeah. are catching on more and more. Yeah. So thinking of talking of cigars, I mean, I'd love to sit down and talk a little bit more over a cigar. Let's do Is it. That what would you like? Knowing yeah. that you know, I like Rojas. You know, all those types of cigars that I like. What would you want to sit down with? I'm up. I'm always up to try something new. Tell you what, why don't we do a street taco? Yeah, street tacos. I love nice I love little them. Sumatra wrapper. I do like a street taco. Is that size okay for you? That is nice great. Nice little Toro? Yeah, that works for me. All right. Street taco it is, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like this room. Kind of a man cave feel to it. I tried. Out of juice. Out of juice. So let me ask you first. There's two stores, right? That's right. There's yeah. two, and and so this one in McKinney. We yep, we have one in McKinney. That was our first store. Okay. Uh, we we bought a an existing store. It's called Cigars and More. That was about three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. um, how I got into it was kind of by accident. I was looking to buy a retail business. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't looking for a cigar shop. Were you a cigar smoker at the time? I was. Okay. Yeah, I was. I okay. uh, love cigars. Anyway, I came across that, that business and it was for sale. And so I went in and met the owner and looked around the, in, the, in, the, in the space and what he, what he had to offer. And I thought, man, this is, the price is right, but I thought I saw a lot of opportunity in mm. that store. Okay. Um, How long ago was that? Three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago. Yeah. Okay. We rebranded it and changed the name at Eldorado Fine Cigars and so forth. Okay. You just happened to come across this, the, the cigar shop and, and it looked, the business looked good to you. Yeah, I really did. I mean, I walked into the place. Uh, it was a nice little store, had uh, a nice humidor, but it's very, very thin. Um, it was kind of just a sleepy grab and go store. Didn't have a lounge space mm. or any TVs. There was no locker membership. Uh, didn't permit people to smoke in the store. Oh, wow. And I thought to myself, you know, all those things that you and I enjoy so much about a cigar shop right. needed, could, could, could need to happen in that place. And if I did that, I thought, if I could, you know, if I did, if I did those things I thought were necessary to grow the business, right. and, uh, we would attract more customers, and we did. It, it just it just blew up. I mean, I don't know of too many cigar smokers that don't want to buy a cigar and smoke it right there. Right. You know, they want to have a lounge. <laughs> they want to have a place where I can, you know, have a locker. Yeah. I want to have a place where I can come hang out. This is my home away from home. I, I hear a lot of guys mention that, and ladies too. Yeah, we, we have a lot of ladies that come in here. We do a ladies night uh, once a month, um, where we'll do like a wine tasting, pairing mm. with cigars, um, do a Cigars 101, teaching the ladies a little bit more about cigars. What are you doing throughout the year? I mean, what can what somebody- Well, we, we do uh, your typical uh, manufacturer rep events. Uh, where the rep will be in here, or the owner of the cigars. Al McAuliffe was here when we had okay. a, a McAuliffe event. Um, 
and uh, offering some great deals and getting people educated and familiar with different brands. So we do that you know, at least uh, once a month, if not twice a month. Okay. So we do it quite frequently at both stores. Okay. Um, so that's one thing we do. And, and you know, we, like we talked about in the backyard, there's things that we can do out there that I can't do in McKinney. Right. Uh, like we had, we've had a couple of crawfish boils okay. in the summertime, which is a lot of fun. We had a huge event out there, live music, and just a lot of space to, to stretch out. And, yeah. Having your own shop here, is it is it everything you dreamed of? Man, I'll tell you what, I, I didn't expect when I bought that store, I had no idea what I was getting myself into, other than I thought it was gonna be a good business. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, the, the rewarding thing is just the relationships that we developed over time, and really, to, and really understand the culture mm -hmm. uh, behind yeah. cigars and, right. and, and how amazing that really is. I wasn't before I bought that store. I wasn't a guy that that went into a cigar uh, shop and smoked generally. I usually grabbed my cigars, went home, sat on my patio. Okay. Um, knowing what I know now. I wish I would have sat down more mm. often yeah. in a cigar lounge. Yeah, hey, yeah. Kurt, I want to bring this up to you. You guys are talking about this. This is his house rules. Huh. And it's a lot of, you know, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. But at the end, it's do do this, do do this. And I think that's really what's created this environment here is there's some rules here, but there's also a lot of rules to build the community. So don't do a lot of these things, but hey, you need to do some of these other things. Yeah. Right, so the house rules of uh, El Dorado, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a great mission statement for what he does. Thank you. And relax and enjoy yourself. Yeah. and I think Most importantly. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. You know, do share your cutter in there. You know, do share your knowledge, do share your bourbon. Those kind of things have built this community where it's all different walks of life. Right. So we have groups that come in here that start coming and then all of a sudden they join the bigger group. That's, that's yeah, really right. I have, I don't know you, right? But yet I have no problems sharing a cigar or a drink yeah. and, and we it turns into what do you do well i you know i roof houses hey you know i got a neighbor that's <laughs> for somebody that gets roof good our networking house. tool <laughs> i'll tell you what it's a huge this we, there's a lot of networking that goes on in this store and, it, and again it just kind of you know organically yeah happens. just have a friend who's opening a cigar shop and he was like yeah how do i do payroll and one of the guys is like oh let me tell you about my payroll service they're really great and so those kind of things that we can share this is like back in the, the 20s and 30s, where men would go to right. cigar shops and share knowledge and talk and business. And now we're building this up again. Now it's growing with women too, so they're seeing the value in this also. Yeah. And yeah. the husband and wife can now share something if they enjoy smoking cigars together. Yeah. It's really opening up this whole new world. Talking about solving world problems on a new level, right? Is, <laughs> That's it. Know. I mean, I, I think it's, it, and especially in today's age, you know. How I, you know, just you know what I'm talking about. In today's age, we need people need to connect more, and what better way to connect than over a cigar and a drink? Yeah. Um, sit, talk, converse. I don't think people agree with you more. converse enough. Yeah. And to be able to sit down and really get to know people r rather than on social media, even though this is a social media thing, but that's what we want to do is we want people to see your shop and go, man, next time I'm through that town, I gotta stop there. That's that's a totally cool shot. Yeah, this place isn't just for Rockwall people, it's for right. people from all I over. I Plano, I drive 45 minutes just to come here. Oh, wow. Because this is how great the shop is. Like, fantastic. I have multiple shops around me. Yeah. They're they're, they're, they're nice, but, but this is a family, I'm a, a family environment, a community environment. And yeah. I always was saying the other day, it's like when you walk in here, like cheers, you know, you're a norm, no. Everybody's norm. <laughs> you know? Go follow and like El Dorado Fine Cigars on social media. And if you like good conversations in historic houses, you're gonna like El Dorado Fine Cigars in real life too. Thanks to Kurt and his staff for a great day in Rockwall, and thank you for watching. Texas Cigar Roadshow is presented by Lone Star Cigar Association. Until next time, enjoy the leaf, grow the culture. I, I love this one where it says, don't use the store cutter after placing the cigar in your mouth. Have you seen that? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have. It's like, that's I, why it's there. Can I have that cutter, please? <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I mean, but you know, that's that's 
that's part of the process. You know, guys that don't know any better. Yeah. Oh, I want to get into the cigar culture. It looks cool to me. Yeah. But they don't know the etiquette. Yeah. And it just doesn't cross their mind. Right. In today's world, I don't know how that doesn't cross your mind now. Yeah. With everything that we've got to be. Something like that. Yeah. You know, but, but even still, before that, people just, yeah, they, it's like no big deal. And you got to stop and think and, and kind of educate. Here, let me, my dad was a real big um, golfer, loved, loved golf. And he was all, he was a little league umpire. He knew the rule book. So if he's going to play golf, he's going to know the rules. He's going to know the etiquette. Yeah. And if I'm on the golf course with yeah. him, he's going to make sure, hey, this is, don't, hey, don't right. fix your divot. You know, <laughs> don't drag your feet on the green, all that yeah. good stuff. So this is the same thing here. Yeah, that's the purpose of that. So people that are new uh, to uh, cigars and, and uh yeah. To, to, to the, the lounge. And, uh, and, and yeah, to this lounge. To the lounge and, and just to the culture of the whole thing. It's just like, okay, look, yeah, it is your cigar. It is, you know, we've said this many times before, it is your cigar, smoke it the way you want to, right? Or whatever. But there are some ways that you can light it, cut it, to enjoy it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, smoke it, don't hot box the thing, you know. It, it, there are some ways to do that, yes to make sure you get the full enjoyment of it. Mm -hmm. And then of course, while you're in the lounge with other people, I mean, come on, I've always said that, my dad's always said it, look, your mama doesn't work here. <laughs> so clean up after yeah, yourself. Right. Um, make sure that somebody coming in behind you is gonna have a great um, um, feel for the place as you did when you first walked in. Um, and, and make sure you just take care of it. Because if it's, like you're saying, you want it to be a place that's kind of like home away from home, then uh, you want to take care of your house. And you want to take care of your people. Yeah, and people really do. I mean, our, our members and, and our, our loyal customers that are in here, mm -hmm. I mean, they help clean up at the end of the night. They're throwing away trash. They're clearing out the ashtrays. They're wiping down the ashtrays. Yeah. Taking the trash out. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah that's, I find that in so many different places in, in the cigar world yeah. that people, they, you know, they're, they, they, have, they, they have no problem doing exactly all those things that you talked about helping. And then if, if there is somebody new that, that comes in, they love to say, hey, what would you like to know? What can I help you with? And if they have questions, they like to answer those questions. Um, it, it, it is a, an, a, a culture that, I don't, I don't know if I find that in too many other places, you know, of, of uh, atmospheres as, as people that are giving as far as, like you're saying, share your whiskey, mm -hmm. uh, share your cigar. I mean, that's a, you know, that's not a, you know, a, a little thing to be able to hand somebody something that's nine, 10, $12. I don't have any problem with that. Yeah. Especially if I know this guy's gonna, you know, uh, be, he's gonna be learning something from it and enjoying something from it. That's, uh, that's the whole thing is being able to enjoy that atmosphere with somebody else that, um, enjoys the same thing that we do and it's or, a beautiful thing yeah it is yeah.